Welcome to Data Access Golf, your home for rapid golf improvement. And now, from the thin air of the Rocky Mountains, next on the number one tee, your host, Aaron Stewart. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Data Access Golf. Today's a kind of a cool topic. It's it's one that um, a lot of people talk about, and that's this word feel, right? Uh, and, and sometimes you hear Tiger Woods talk about how, you know, he's working on his game and he's coming back and, and the feels are coming back. He always uses that word, feels are coming back. I, 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 don't, I, I honestly don't know what that means for Tiger, okay? But I know what it means for the most of the rest of us, right? And we go out and we work on our, we work on our, our, our golf swing, right? Our golf game. We go to the range and we beat a buck of, of balls and every once in a while... Um, we, you know, dig something out of the dirt, right? As they like that the old touring pros used to call it that, where you, you find something and it seems to be working and, and it, and it's got this feeling to it, right? And so you're doing something, you're putting the club somewhere, you're, you, you feel something in your backswing or as you're coming down and maybe you're, you know, locking your left leg or something, but something's going on and you're feeling something and it's working and you're hitting the ball solid and nothing is better than that, right? It's like, oh my gosh, right? And we always go into this dangerous, dangerous area in the golf swing, right? As soon as you start thinking, I got it, you know that you're in for some, some really, really bad days ahead, right? But, but every once in a while, we, we kind of catch lightning in a bottle and we get this feel and uh, we feel like this is going to be it. And it turns out that, that it's not it, right? And uh, so it's some tip, some trick, something that we've tried, and then it just it doesn't work. And I've always been bothered by that, and I think everybody's bothered by that. You go to a, a pro, a really good pro, and they help you, and you start hitting the ball solid, and you think you've got it, and you're never going to lose it again, and you always do, right? You always regress. It always gets worse. It never sticks around long, and it's a very frustrating thing. Well... As I went through this program of mine, and I always thought about this as a a kind of self-training and trying to get to the point, you know, I'm using this equipment for this instant feedback, and I'm going through and going through, and I'm making really good progress. So this was in 2016, 2000, and yeah, 16. I'm making really good progress, and I've probably, I'm probably into this, this situation about 5,000 swings, I think, somewhere in there when I'm working on it, right around there, 5,000 swings. So I'm not you know, I'm at, I'm almost 17,000 swings now, so I'm not way into it, but I'm, you know, I'm, I'm a good portion where I'm feeling pretty confident when I figured out I went through a super uncomfortable place from about zero to 3,000, but then I started really sort of kind of getting it, right, and understanding the process and sort of trial and error, putting some stuff together and developing a program that I really thought was, was developing some pretty important changes in my golf swing, and it was very exciting. And uh, so I, I practice just here at work, inside, and um, it, it was great. I was having a wonderful time exploring, figuring things out, um, gathering the data, comparing things day to day. Well, one day, and, um, and, and it's, it's about getting your, and we'll talk about the four different aspects of the golf swing, but it's really about getting these four aspects of your golf swing in alignment, right? Getting on plane is what we talk about, but getting all four on plane, in timing, and doing all that together. And and that happens through a series of of exercises where you have instant feedback, right? So I'm going through this, and and one night I was working really late, and before I went home, I wanted to give it one last try because I'd gotten close earlier in the day, and I wanted to work on this. And you know what? I got it. I seriously, I got it. All of a sudden, I had all, all the all four aspects were exactly right and I could see it visually and the feedback was telling me that I'd done it. I finally done it. I'm boom, I'm there. And so I, I, I did it three, four, five swings in a row. It was fantastic. I was so pumped. And so I left the office around midnight, which is bad, but I, I left around midnight, just completely pumped, ecstatic. I got home um, you know, got in bed. I couldn't get to sleep because I was so excited that I, I, wow, I, I'd broken through. I was now on plane. All aspects of my golf swing were fantastic. And so I, I went to bed so excited. The next morning I got up completely pumped. I, I usually get up around six o'clock. I woke up five 30, 
so excited to get back into the, into the office and strap everything up and start it again. Man, I had that feel. I, I knew what that was. I knew what it felt like to be perfect. And so I was coming into the office. I got warmed up. I was just, I couldn't, I was just so excited to put it all back on and see it again. And um, I strapped on, I put everything together. I got warmed up. I got ready to go. Took a couple practice swings, got warmed up. And then I got everything in place and I took a swing. And I put on that swing the exact same feel I had, what, five, six hours earlier. Identical. I laid it down perfect, put on the swing, looked down at the, um, looked down at my phone. I think it was my phone, my iPad, whatever I was using at the time, looked down at my phone and my swing was completely off. I was devastated. I'm like, are you kidding? I I go through all of this. I, I, I know what a perfect swing feels like. I felt it last night. I saw it with my eyes. The feedback, the ins- I was I was dead on, and then four, five hours, six hours later, I put the same feel on it, and the feedback's telling me, nope, no, your swing is not right anymore. I lost it, right? I just went home, went to sleep, and I lost it. So that's when I realized, you know what? Feel lies. We don't always feel the same, okay? But but accurate feedback doesn't lie, right? So I had the feedback to tell me, hey, Aaron, what you're feeling is a bold-faced lie. Your swing is not what it was last night. It may feel the same, but it isn't. And that was an epiphany. That changed things for me, and that helped me sort of break through and accept that I don't always feel the same every day. Right, And I need this accurate feedback to tell me that I'm not doing it the same way that I was doing it before, even though it feels the exact same way. And that's kind of the beauty of it. To take it back to the the bicycle riding analogy, if I had been riding the bike perfectly the night before and I hopped on the bike and rode, I would have toppled over had I not made the adjustments. And that's the beauty of riding a bike, that the instant feedback forces me to make adjustments and change things so I can stay upright. In the golf swing, we don't have that, right? And so we get hooked on a feel and we think we know what it feels like and then something can change. And I don't, I still don't know what changes. I don't know if I, I had a pulled hamstring or I slept funny or whatever, but something changed in those six hours and I could not use the same feel to deliver the same golf swing. And, and that was a total mind shift. Um, but we'll get more into that. But anyway, that's that's sort of the podcast today. It's about feel and how feel lies. But we'll fix it. We'll deal with it um, in our training. So thanks for tuning in. Until next time, I'm out. Thanks for listening to Data Access Golf with Aaron Stewart. Check us out online at dataaccessgolf.com. And we'll see you on the next episode.